I'm Raymond Batazzo and I've been on a journey visiting industry champions to learn more about their drive and purpose in Australian manufacturing. Have a listen to what they've got to say. Today, I'm at Vitasoy, meeting with their project facilitator, Rachel Kelly. Rachel shares her story with us and her passion for Australian made. I started off studying chemical engineering at the University of Melbourne. Back then, the traditional paths were petrochem and I didn't want to go down that path. So then I got into the food industry, which I absolutely love and adored. It's an opportunity to value add to our great ingredients and delight consumers at the end of the day. What is your passion for the business? I really enjoy looking at the innovative side of process, solving unusual problems. When we put together the almond milk project, for instance, not many people have done that before, and it's just working and collaborating with companies like yourselves yeah. to get a solution. And then at the end of the day, getting a product that you put on the shelf that people can really enjoy. So when we talk about Australian made and what does Australian made mean for you and what does Australian made mean for Vitasoy, people don't realise that Vitasoy is made here in Barranduda, regional Australia, with Australian almonds, Australian soybeans. I'm quite proud that I work here and I'm proud that we can use Australian ingredients and using Australian know-how to make a world-class product. We've been exporting for some time. We don't tend to broadcast our successes broadly enough. It's something that we can be better at. But I think being Australian made means so much more than just importing a product and buying it off the shelf. When you look at the likes of Bega, for instance, or ourselves, or the canned tomatoes out of SPC in Shepparton, these are places that are grown up from regional areas because there's fresh produce around, and we should be proud of those products and we should sing it to the highest hilltops because we have great produce. We have a fantastic water supply that is clean. We work well together and we collaborate and I don't think we sing our praises strongly enough. So how important is actually using local, regional and local Australian skills and services? Vitaso wants to build a sustainable world and part of that is working locally and with the community. So it's really important that if we've got skill-based next door that we can readily pick up the phone. We know the, the quality of work there. We know that you're reliable and willing to collaborate. So it's very valuable to have that school base so close to your backyard. So Rachel, what do you see as one of the biggest challenges going forward? I think from what I see is that we have great expertise at our level, but I'm worried about that expertise being built through the younger generation. And I think there's an opportunity for us to share what we know. So it's how we pass that knowledge on and continually grow. Whose duty is that? When we really have to start collaborating as manufacturers to go and educate and we need to champion those jobs. I think the role is more community based. Schools do what they do and they do it well. We do what we do, we do it well. So it's a matter of working out what the community needs are and collaborating that way, I think, with industry, schools, TAFEs and different manufacturing companies. 